There was a technical foul called on uh, Hero, who threw the ball at Pritchard because he didn't like the fact that Pritchard plays hard as he does at the moment. <laughs> Shot taken by Mike Corbin. I like it. <laughs> Tatum looks to go by Love. Left him in the dust and knocks down the three. More elite footwork. Pritchard. <laughs> it's carried over. Brown will restart. Five in the shot clock. He sees it. He takes it. Down. White again. Timeout is called by Miami. It's an onslaught. To quote Michael Ray Richardson, the ship she seemed to be sinking. <laughs> Barstow Greeny, this is exactly how you honor Mike Gorman. That's right, you put a shellacking on the Miami Heat. Is that right? This is exactly how I, I do it, yeah. That, oh, when you Dan, you're out there. I when you envision your last game, you envision a blowout like this. It's true, yeah. you do. Playing Celtics basketball. Celtics fans, let's hear it one more time. For the voice of the Boston Celtics, Mike Gorman! An amazing journey, and I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for me. Always, true. always. I'm sure you've touched so many people's lives. Yeah. Both coaches running through their respective lines. The Celtics move on to the second round of the playoffs. Well, I don't know what to say, really. For the past 45 years, it's been an honor and my distinct pleasure to have been the voice of the Boston Celtics. I'll be forever grateful to this ownership for treating my family as they treat their own. And special thanks to all who welcomed Tommy, Scal, and me into your homes all winter long when there was a cold night going on outside. You turned us on, and that just couldn't have been better. There's no place I would rather have been. So, Boston, thank you. Good night.